Hi, my name is Jim Bell. I'm the tech service guy here at Byers Products. Today's video, we're going to change the gear motor on a couple of our stainless steel spreaders. One of the part numbers is a 1400601SS and then the 1400801SS. But before we get going, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, become part of the Snow Dog and Salt Dog family. Now, we're in the shop today, so you might hear some noises. Let's try to you know, listen to them and listen to me as we show you how to change the gearbox motor. All right, so the tools we need for the job to change the gearbox motor is we need a little impact. We have a hammer, 15-16 socket. We also have a 7 8 and 15 16 wrench. We have a scale. We have a Sharpie. We have a drift pin, we have a little pry bar. We have two Allen wrenches, um, one's a 1 8 one's a three millimeter. Also we have a needle nose, a pair of channel locks, got a couple drivers. Then we also have some deep wall sockets, 7 16 half inch and 9 16 And then we also have a gearbox. This is, a, this is the gearbox we're replacing. The newer one, updated one, Improved one is the one that has an orange sticker on it, so remember that. Also what I have is, behind me here, I have an older harness that we're gonna use to power up the chain motor, just to rotate it so I can get to the master link, and it goes with a 12 volt battery. So let's go to the spreader and show you how to re replace this. All right, so a quick overview of how we're gonna take this gear motor off. First thing we have to do, we got take the cover off, which will access the gear motor. Once we see the gear motor, we're gonna get that master link to a point where we can take it off. Once we find that, we're gonna go to the other end and we're gonna loosen the take up bearings. So as we loosen the bearings, the chain gets looser, that frees up the master link. And then we're, we're gonna take the sprockets off, then take the gear motor off, put the new one on and put everything all back together. So let's start taking the covers off. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take the cover off. It has three bolts, two on this side and then one on that side. Okay, now we're going to take the cover off. And there's your gearbox. So now what we're going to do is we're going to power up the gearbox to bring the master links close so we could uh, take it apart. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take off the covers the protective covers here. All right, also remember, this has to run the proper way. If you run in reverse, it's gonna damage the chain, it's gonna damage the spreader. So always remember, red to red, and then green to black. Also, we're working with a new spreader, so things are gonna look a lot simpler. So if you have a spreader that has seen salt, you want to you know, make sure you probably need you know, like a, a bigger mallet um, to get the gears off, make sure you have some penetrating oil. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, maybe some compressed air to blow out some of the uh, salt out of the you know, areas you have to. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna power this up and we're gonna bring that master link to a point where we could get off the cotter pins. All right, so the first warning we have would be when I'm running this chain in the gear motor, you know, please do not stick your hands in there. Also, when I do stick my hands in there, I am gonna be taking you know, the power away. So right now, I'll be looking kind of over here, actually, be smart here. I'm gonna look over here looking for that cotter pin to come around with the master link. So I'm just going to power up the battery. All right, so here it is. Here's the, again, here's the cotter pin. And then there, the pin we have to remove. All right, now we located the, the master link. We're going to go toward the front of the spreader and loosen the chain to relieve the pressure so it makes it easier to get the pins out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we want to measure from this edge of this half inch square piece here to the take up bearing. 
The reason we're doing that is, we're going to do it on both sides. The reason we're doing that is so we could, when we retighten it, we could retighten it to that dimension and we should be all good. So, first thing I'm going to do is measure it. Looks like about two, about two and three sixteenths. So, I'm just going to write it on here. So, and then I'm going to just, just double check this to side here, too. And it's really close to the same thing, so I'll just write it here, too. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a 15 16 wrench and we're going to loosen this lock nut right here. Okay, so I'm going to scoot over here and what I'm going to do is just loosen that up and we kind of want to give it some distance here because the bearings are going to be going this way. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so what we're going to do is I, I kind of took the nut, moved it toward the, the, the bearing. Now I'm just going to loosen it. So it's going to bring the bearing you know, toward the back of the spreader. So, and you'll feel it release. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to go in front and take off those master links. All right, so I disconnected the power. So this is why I'm going to put my hands in here because there's no power going to the spreader. So I'm going to take the counter pin off and then I'm just going to knock out the pins. All right, so I got one pin off on that side and I'm just going to take you see I get it's kind of free here. I'm just going to take this pin out. What's nice about this pin, it has like a little flat on it. So when you go through the master link, you got to match it up with the link. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the chain and just get it out of the way. So I can push it both push it back. You know, off the gear. So I'm about to go to the front of the spreader and just pull the chain. What we want to do is just get some clearance. That's all. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bearing off on this side with the two nuts and the set screws, and then we're going to loosen up the gear motor. I get everything loose, now I'm just going to take the bearing off. Now I'm going to loosen up the gear motor bolts. Alright, to get the gear motor off of the housing, the three screws are pretty accessible to get at. And we use a 916 you know, impact, or you could use a ratchet, um, you know, powered ratchet. The one bolt that's going to be most difficult is going to be your upper way up in here. Um, some people we take the shield off that's inside, but we're going to try to get it with a, a 916 uh, ratchet, ratchet wrench. So I think we should be able to get it, but again, it might be easier to take, take that passenger side shield off from the inside, but we're going to try to do it this way. All right, so now I've got all four bolts out. Now what I'm going to do is just take the gear motor. I'm just going to slide it right out. Oh. And then I'm going to put it on the table and match it up with the other one. All right, so we got the gear motors now. Of course, this is one we took out. It still has the sprockets on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure from the base of the gearbox to a point on the sprocket and mark it. It's about two and seven eighths. So I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to do the same thing from here down. It's like two and a half. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sprockets off here and the keyways and just put them on the gear, new gear motor. And then I'm gonna make it so these dimensions are the same. So it's gonna put us super close to where we're gonna be with the chains.
All right, so I'm going to put the gear motor back on. And we're going to line up the holes. And then we're going to put the bearing on. All right, so we tightened all four bolts for the gear motor. And now we're just going to put the power leads back on the clips. Okay, that's all set. And now we're going to put the bearing on. All right, so we tightened up the, the bearing, got the two set screws on the bearing tightened up. Like we talked about before, our gears <clears throat> were set up from our measurements, so they should be perfectly lined up for the chain. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the master link back on the chain on both sides, put the cotter pin in. We're going to go back to the front side of the spreader and tighten it up. All right, so we got the pins and the cotter pins in the chain up, up in the back. Now what we're going to do is, if you remember earlier in the video, we measured from the grip bearing to the end of the square stock here, which is two and three sixteenths of an inch. So what I'm gonna do is just tighten those up on both sides, get it really close to two and three sixteenths. And then we're gonna go in front and run the motor a little bit, make sure there's no hiccups, then we should be all done. All right, so we got the front part of the spreader tightened up where we had it before. Again, we're gonna power it up just to make sure there's no Make sure it's running properly. Remember, red to red and black to green. Okay, if it's run opposite, it will damage it. So please make sure red to red. It looks pretty good. So we're going to unhook the power. And then we're going to put all the covers on and that's going to be it. All right, so we got the co cover on. It looks like we're all set to go. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, we just changed the gear motor in the 1400601 SS. And also, same thing, but the smaller spreader is the 14. 00801 SS. Don't forget, mash that like button, subscribe, be part of that snow dog and salt dog family. Have any questions, give us a call, email us. We also have a website, buyersproducts.com, and go buy a dog and chase a storm.